Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number 29. Uh, my name is Steve, I do Steve Official here on YouTube and you're currently watching my YouTube channel really. Um, anyway, so it is Saturday afternoon, it's Saturday the 20th of July uh, 2019. Um, I have just got home from work and got out my work uniform. I've also um, I've also had some lunch. For lunch today I had a jam sandwich with a packet of Monster Munch crisps and I've also just made myself a cup of tea as well uh, and I've just come up here into my bedroom and I'm just about to watch some classic EastEnders now on the UK TV Play app on my Roku box. It's arrived! It's arrived! Yes! Yes! Okay, so I've just I've just taken the um, phone out of the uh, out of the delivery packaging. This is what you get inside. So obviously you get the SIM card. So I'm with O2 um, now, which is good. Um, and this is also um, what you get as well. Well, this this is technically the box it came in. Good as new. It says, and on the back it says I've been tested and A and grade A rated. By our qualified technicians now grade a must mean it's pretty much near to new so this is a second hand phone but has been refurbished um so and then it also says you're doing your bit for the environment and reducing your carbon footprint by buying me okay i've even got a 12 month warranty i'm now ready to use and it even says what's included as well so the charger the usb and the handset itself so Without further ado, let's open the box. Okay, so I've just opened it. So, ah, okay. So this is the USB charger for it. The USB charger. And then in here is the, well, the power socket for it. So there we go. And then it's the moment of truth. Oh man, this is pretty shiny. Look at this. Seriously, look at that. That is pretty shiny. Oh wow. I love it. It's blue. My favourite colour as well, blue. Look how shiny it looks. Oh man. I don't really, I don't feel like as if I should really touch this, but seriously. So there we go. That is the iPhone XR or XR. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to find really oh okay I found where the sim goes so I'm going to try and put the sim card in um I'll switch it on I'll set it up and I'll show you guys around the iPhone um and stuff once it's all been set up okay so this is the iPhone XR look at it in all its glory it's all switched on all set up all looking good I've only downloaded one app at the moment, which is my WhatsApp app. That's the only app I've downloaded at the moment. Um, but this is essentially the home screen. Um, I'm still trying to get used to the whole swiping up thing. But yeah, let me... Um, so that's the this here, where my thumb is. That's the... to switch it on and off. Now the good thing is, is when I raise it up like this, it wakes up which is awesome uh, this is the back of the phone so obviously you've got the camera the Apple logo the iPhone logo and stuff a little bit of a rock as you can see I don't know how well you can see it there but it's a little bit of a bump there on the phone uh, and then obviously on this side here you've got the uh, the little what I like to call the uh, vibration and the volumes so it's a really nice phone and this is the bottom you only get the lightning um, adapter connector thing. That's the only thing. So, and you get the speakers as well. So you don't get a, a headphone jack like the iPhone 6, um, which was my last phone that I had, the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, and also as well, the other thing is as well, is the home button is missing from it. Uh, but you also get shortcuts as well when you're in lock screen mode. Uh, you get... Um, you get what do you get you get uh, the torch and the camera so you get shortcuts to those as well which is very ideal because if you're out in the dark and you're trying to find something and you can't see anything you can just straight away just go to your um 
you know, your uh, flashlight on your iPhone straight away from the lock screen. So, or, you know, if you want to capture a moment that you, you know, don't want to miss uh, and you want to look back on in life, then you can straight away from the shortcuts in the lock screen uh, go to your camera. So there we go. So this is the iPhone XR. Now, within the next sort of couple of weeks, I will be getting things for it like the wireless charger, the the battery, uh, the case for it and stuff like that so i will be getting stuff like that for this iphone but it is an absolutely amazing iphone i already love it already oh my god i have just taken my first ever selfie on my iphone xr oh my god oh, just look at this photo of me right now this is me in the garden with my sunshades on just everything in the background is all blurred and it's so beautiful the fact that you can shoot selfies like that on the iPhone XR is just simply amazing. So while we're currently waiting for Rick and Morty Season 4 to be airing on Netflix later this year, it's been revealed at the San Diego Comic Con event that Rick and Morty has been renewed for Season 5 and we could be expecting to see it very soon after the premiere of Season 4. So last night I finished the weekly vlog and put it up on YouTube and there was some news that I really wanted to share with everyone um, but I couldn't unfortunately because the weekly vlog had gone up but John Carpenter who is the guy behind uh, the movies Halloween um, you know it was a classic film uh, in the early days and obviously last year it got rebooted there was another Halloween film uh, that came out and I went and saw it in the cinemas and I absolutely enjoyed it um, and basically uh, it was revealed yesterday at the San Diego Comic Con event that there are going to be two sequels to the Halloween revival that came out last year so the first one is called Halloween Kills and again, it will feature the serial killer Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. Um, and Halloween Kills will be released in cinemas on October 16th, 2020. Meanwhile, the third film in the franchise will be Halloween Ends. And it will be released in cinemas just under one year later on October 15th, 2021. The actor Edward Furlong, who played the young John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day, uh, it's been revealed that he will be reprising his role as John Connor, who is obviously a lot more older uh, this time around, um, in the brand new Terminator Dark Fate movie, which will be released in UK cinemas in November 2019. So it's Saturday night and I have just got back from shopping. I just got some bits for dinner tonight and also some bits for dinner tomorrow night as well as we're planning to have a Sunday roast tomorrow. Just had a video call with my girlfriend Kaylee on WhatsApp using my brand new iPhone XR. Yeah. Currently watching season one, episode two of The Walking Dead on Amazon Prime on my Roku box. I'm also going to have a cup of tea and some ginger nut biscuits with my cup of tea while I watch The Walking Dead. So it's Sunday afternoon, I've just got home from work and just about to get out my work uniform. I got an Amazon delivery! Look at this, right? This is what my delivery is. It says, look, delivered. iPhone XR case support wireless and one other check out a photo of your delivery and there's even a photo of my delivery where it is so this is what i got uh, as you guys are now aware i got an iphone xr case for my iphone marvel have hosted their san diego comic con event over in the states and they have finally revealed the phase four of Marvel Studios. Now most of Phase 4 does appear to be um, TV shows that are coming to Disney Plus um, the brand new Disney streaming service coming later this year um, but here is the official Phase 4 lineup uh, for you so it's Black Widow, uh, The Falcon and The Winter Soldier that's going to be a Disney Plus show, uh, The Eternals um, 
uh, Shang-Chi, uh, WandaVision, which again is going to be a Disney Plus TV show, uh, Doctor Strange 2, uh, Loki, again, Disney Plus series, uh, What If, which is a uh, Disney Plus series, Hawkeye, which again is a Disney Plus series, uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, which is going to be the fourth Thor film in the series and Marvel Studios is Blade as well. There are also going to be other uh, movies coming from Marvel such as uh, Captain Marvel 2, Black Panther 2 and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 as well. England suffered a massive defeat yesterday in the Netball World Cup as uh, New Zealand won. Um, from England and England are currently taking on South Africa to see who can win the third place prize which is a bronze medal award. Yesterday was also 50 years ago since the moon landing um, and of course that was the moment where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took to the moon and obviously those famous words or famous phrase, famous line, whatever you like to say, um, also came out, which was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Morning and welcome to a brand new week where we've got another fresh look for you on ITV with resident artists Emily Darning and Olivia Weston taking on the challenge. And if you'd like to find out more, all you need to do is search ITV Creates for all the details. So we're getting straight into Monday morning now with the best way to start your day with the latest news, sport, entertainment and weather. It's time to say good morning, Britain. Join Nikki and Davina for more remarkable searches as the new series of Long Lost Family continues tonight at 9, including the bride who has put her wedding on hold until she finds her birth mother. Back to this morning now on ITV, quite literally, with Eamon and Ruth. In the last year, over 4,000 people from across the UK have contacted the Long Lost Family team, asking to help find missing family members, including a bride who has put her wedding on hold until she finds her birth mother. You can see that search for yourself at nine. Right now, it's Monday's Loose Women. Time to catch up on the top stories, making the headlines at home and abroad now, this Monday lunchtime, with the very latest ITV News. It's Monday afternoon, I'm just about to go up to Cast Point now to go and get some new trainers as my trainers seem to have worn out. I'm now just about to head off and see my support worker for four hours. Today we're going to Sharky's to play some pool and some table tennis. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. It's currently 7.41 and 55 seconds at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog. I've just woke up and I'm just about to go and have a shower and get dressed. Just look how excited he is, honestly. Whoa, easy boy, easy. Gonna have some choco nut squares for breakfast this morning. Now we're gonna have a Nescafe caramel latte. It's Tuesday afternoon, it is 20 past 12 at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog and I've just come out of the living room and I'm just about to go outside into the garden because it's such a lovely day, the sun is shining, it is really warm outside as well. Um, I just want to sit out here because I just want to talk to you guys about uh, the next Conservative leader and the Prime Minister because um, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt have been going head to head in the Conservative uh, Co Conservative Party race uh, for a fair few weeks now. Obviously, they've been the two main contenders. So, whoever won that race uh, to become the next Conservative leader uh, will also become our next UK Prime Minister. Obviously, a couple of months ago, Theresa May announced her resignation from uh, Number Ten Downing Street, and obviously, that is when the Conservative Party leading race took place and obviously there was all these candidates it all got narrowed down to Jeremy Hunt and Boris Johnson and here we are today Tuesday the 23rd of July 2019 at 20 past 12 I am about to reveal to you guys 
who is our next Prime Minister. I can officially reveal that the Conservative Party leader, uh, the new Conservative Party leader, is in fact Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson won the Conservative Party leading race, which means he is going to be our next UK Prime Minister. He will take house, uh, he will take over uh, number 10 Downing Street from tomorrow um, on the 24th of July. Theresa May will be hosting her final Prime Minister questions at lunchtime tomorrow. Um, then she will then have her final speech in Downing Street to say her farewells and look back on her on the three years that she was Prime Minister of the UK. She will then go to the Buckingham Palace where she'll meet the Queen for the final time. Her successor, Boris Johnson, will also be going to uh, the uh, Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen as well. Um, and of course he will then return back to Downing Street later on in uh, later on in the afternoon tomorrow uh, to give his first full speech as Prime Minister at number 10 Downing Street so there we go that is your new Prime Minister Boris Johnson currently watching vloggy Williams aka the singer Robbie Williams's vlog on YouTube it's episode 88 now watching the season 10 trailer of The Walking Dead that was released in Comic Con over the weekend on YouTube. I'm now just about to make myself a cup of tea. Okay, so I've just got myself ready for work as I am doing a shift today at work, which is, what is it? It's 3 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. today. That's my shift pattern at work. Um, so I'm just about to head off to work now and do that shift. Um, and I'm also just also just making sure everything's all closed up and stuff as well. It's 8.36 at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. It's Wednesday morning, halfway through the week, which means we are halfway through the vlog. And I'm just about to get out of bed and get dressed. So this is what the weather is looking like outside my window this morning. It's looking sunny, blue skies, not a single cloud in the sky to be honest. Uh, with a slight little breeze. But I just want to take you back to last night because last night uh, I came home from work, I had my dinner and then I sat in the living room with Buddy uh, for a little bit. And believe it or not, I lay there on the sofa and I started falling asleep to be honest. Um, and then all of a sudden Buddy woke up and started barking madly. So I woke up because he was barking and basically it was, there was hell, there was hailstones outside, uh, literally it was chucking it down with rain, um, hailstones were throwing themselves at the windows, uh, which obviously Buddy didn't like, um, and then after that I then looked up at the sky and oh my god, there was literally consistent flashes of of lightning in the sky i honestly it looked like as if a strobe light had been set off in the clouds that was how bad the light lightning was um so but there was thunder as well there was lightning um but i don't think it did the air much good to be honest because when i walked home from work last night it was really really humid really really hot um you know, I think it was definitely above normal nighttime temperatures. I'm just going to say that. Um, but it literally, it was really hot, really humid. And by the time I'd gone to bed, actually, the ground had actually dried up. Um, so you could probably tell, and literally that was probably about 20 minutes after the rain had stopped, after the lightning had stopped and all of that. So, you know, definitely definitely 
you know, I don't think it did the air much good because the ground had dried out. So, yeah. So, anyway. But, yeah, that was the weather story from last night. So, for breakfast today, I had choco nut squares. And this is also what I've got. I've got a nice mango and passion fruit orange juice. Oh, it's so hot. It's Wednesday afternoon. I've just got back from seeing The Lion King, which, by the way, was a really good film. Live action remake of The Lion King from Disney. Such a good film. Um, and to be honest, I really did enjoy it. Um, but it was more... The thing I didn't enjoy was more the experience of watching the movie from the comfort of my seat. Basically, I sat right in the back of the cinema, which is what I always do. I always sit right at the back of the cinema um, when I watch a film because it's, it's just easy viewing that way. Um, and today there was like a group of kids that went to go and watch The Lion King. Um, and they technically took up the entire back row of seats other than the two seats that were next to me. Um, so there was two seats empty between me and where these kids were. Anyway, and all throughout the movie, these kids were just, oh, honestly, they were just shouting, laughing away, talking to one another, you know, telling each other what might happen next in the movie. And then, you know, they just kept messing about. They kept um, bumping themselves into the seat, like going backwards and forwards on their seats, and oh, it was such a nightmare, such an utter nightmare. So I, so even though yes, I did enjoy the movie, but I didn't enjoy the experience of watching the movie. Um, that's the only thing that really did bug me, to be honest. Anyway, so I've just got back from watching that, and I've also got back from Castle Point as well, because I quickly popped into Asda, because we didn't really have anything for lunch here, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to go out and buy something for lunch today. So I picked up some, uh, cheesy pasta. This is cheese pasta salad here, that you're looking at. Uh, so I picked up that, and I also picked up some mini pork and pickle pies and some pork and bramley apple sausage rolls so i'm going to give those a go and i also picked up an ice cream because it is so hot outside that i thought you know what i'm going to have some lunch and with my lunch i'll have an ice cream as well because it is absolutely boiling i'm sweating buckets and i just need something to cool me down so that it's Thursday afternoon, I have got home from work, got out of my work uniform and just had a video call with my girlfriend Kaylee on WhatsApp who I absolutely love. Honestly, I just love her so much, I really do and it's a week today believe it or not until we uh, see each other so I'm, to be quite honest I'm really excited to be spending the whole day with her next Thursday. Honestly, I just, I really, really cannot wait, and I just love her so, so much. So, it's Thursday night, and oh my god, I am loving my Roku box even more than what I did before, because basically, not only now can I watch Now TV, or Netflix, or Amazon Prime, or anything like that, but I've also just found out that I could stream um, websites through my iPhone, to my Roku box through this um, w through this TV streaming sharing app thing. So I downloaded this app and basically it's allowed me to sort of share what's on my phone screen onto my Roku box. So for instance, I go onto a streaming movie site, for example, um, and I just put on a movie. So for example, I put Happy Death Day 2 on my TV right now um, and that's coming believe it or not that's coming through from my iPhone device not from the TV itself but from my iPhone my iPhone is also in lock mode as well um, but it's still playing what's on screen right now it's still playing that while the movie while the phone's in lock mode which is another really cool thing so it's also saving my phone a little bit of battery as well but really loving it and it's good quality as well really good quality well hello there welcome to friday on the weekly vlog it's friday morning it's quarter past eight at the time recording this and i've just woke up 
So I've just got dressed, opened my curtains. This is what the weather's looking like this morning. A little bit cloudy, not sunny at all. Where is the sun? That's what I'm asking. Uh, I'm now just about to switch my fan off as well. Once I can, there we are. My fan is now switching off. I'm now going to switch my TV off as well. And I'm also going to switch my light off as well. So yesterday I resetted my old iPhone 6 Plus. This is my old iPhone 6 Plus right here. Uh, because I'm going to be giving it to my sister later today. Um, because she needs a new phone. And also as well, I'm not really going to be using this phone now, obviously. Because I've got my iPhone XR. For breakfast today I'm having chocolatey squares. Oh, hello buddy. Uh, so I have just got back from uh, from uh, Castle Point. Uh, I just went to Clinton's because I went to Clinton's to go and get my girlfriend Kaylee something uh, for her birthday because her birthday's a week today, believe it or not. Next Friday is her birthday. Uh, she turns 20 next Friday. Um, but... Uh, I went to I went to Castle Point in, and went to Clinton's to go and buy her a birthday present and a card. I I think she's gonna love what she's gonna get what she's gonna get off me. I think she's gonna love what she's gonna receive uh, present wise and even card wise as well. Um, now I was gonna say I could show you guys what I brought her for her birthday. But she watches the weekly vlogs. So what I'm going to do is maybe next week, uh, next week's weekly vlog, I will show you guys what I have brought her. Because by the time next week's weekly vlog has gone out, she she would have known what she got from me for her birthday because, well, we would have met up. So, um, And that's the other thing as well. We're meeting up um, next Thursday. Um, we're meeting up and uh, we're going to spend the day together so that'll be really nice and uh, she will be on the weekly vlog for next week which be again really good because I've really missed her to be honest um, so yeah but anyway I've just got back from Castle Point I've also gone into Asda and picked up some lunch for today I picked up some uh, chicken and gravy pies for lunch uh, which I thought I might have along with some pork pies which I brought the other day Maybe I might have an ice cream as well because it is really hot again outside today. I don't even know why I wore a coat to be honest or a, a thin jacket. So um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And also as well, I brought some dinner for tomorrow because my mum's going out tomorrow night. So obviously she's going to say to me, pick something up for your dinner for tomorrow. So I thought, well, I might as well pick something up now while I'm here. So I went into the reduced bit and picked up some calorie reduced spaghetti bolognese. So... That's what I'm going to have for dinner tomorrow night um, while my mum's out. So, yeah, so it's all really good. Um, you know, I've just got back, feeling really hot and bothered now. I need to get myself under my fan, I think. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, under my fan. That's it. Give me the cool air. Give me the cool air. Oh. Okay, so it's Friday afternoon. I've just woken up from a nap because, well, I was a little bit tired and I had a couple of hours sleep anyway. Uh, the time is just coming up to 6.40 uh, in the evening at the time of recording this part of the weekly vlog. I'm going to end the weekly vlog here actually because, well, I need to edit it and put it up on YouTube right now um, and I need to get to bed early as well. So thank you all for watching. If you have been watching, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my weekly vlog. Um, anyway, next week, uh, next week I've got some... I'll tell you a little bit about next week very quick. I've got some weird videos coming up for you at the start of the weekly vlog. I've also uh, got my day-to-day -day business as well to talk about. And finally, but not least as well, I am spending a day next week on Thursday. Uh, so Thursday's part of the weekly vlog next week. It's going to be probably a little bit long, which I don't mind. Uh, because obviously I've got my girlfriend Kaylee coming down. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to vlog some of that. Um, as well and to be honest with you I really 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 can't wait honestly 
Um, absolutely excited to be reunited with her. Tomorrow would actually, believe it or not, tomorrow would be two weeks exactly since I last saw her. Starting to miss her already. Really starting to miss her. Anyway, um, so really excited to see her on Thursday next week. You guys will be able to see some of that, some of our day together um, during next week's weekly vlog. I'll also show you guys the presents that I have got her as well for her birthday for next week as well as well because next friday as i said earlier in the vlog is her birthday um so yeah so lots coming up next week so don't forget to like and subscribe i'll be back next week with weekly vlog number 30 but from me here it's goodbye thanks for watching see you guys next week